uh, we will see how to install Amazon uh, CLI that is Amazon Web Services command line interface. Also, um, we will see how to access uh, S3 bucket via Amazon command line interface. So for that, uh, uh, I'll be doing these steps. Uh, we will be creating a EC2 uh, Linux instance. We will install this uh, Amazon command line interface, the latest version a package in our uh, Linux instance. We will configure the and we will try to access this S3 bucket via command line interface. So uh, let me log into my Amazon console uh, page. This is my password. Let us create a uh, Linux based instance. So I'll, I'll click on uh, EC2 services. Here uh, I come down, I click on launch instance. Let me give some name. I'll have on Linux as uh, on Linux as uh, IP to my instance type 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 to micro. Let me create a new key pair. I'll have it downloaded and I'll copy it to my D drive. That was the key which we have created right, right now and I'm going to copy to my D drive. Okay, let us come down and uh, will not change anything. All looks good. I'll click on launch instance. So the launch instance initiation have been started. Let's see the status now. So I'll click on view all instances. And meanwhile, the instance is getting up and running. Just want to uh, uh, update you one part. So whenever uh, you want to install uh, Amazon uh, CLI, the latest version, what you can do is that uh, you can uh, go to Google and you can look for this AWS CLI install. Once you uh, look, click on, you will see the install, you will see this uh, Amazon documentation uh, page. So let's click on this uh, link. And here you will uh, see the like commands how to install this CLI. So uh, in, in our case, uh, we want to install into Linux machine. So uh, for Linux, like you will see the command, right? So we'll be using this, say, this all these commands. My uh, point is, uh, if you want to make sure that you want to install the latest version, so uh, please go to uh, AWS CLI documentation page of Amazon and have it uh, this commands copied. So I am going to use this all uh, three commands to install this CLI. So let us now go back to our uh, uh, instance and let let's see whether it got created or not. So yeah, this is the one. Now let me go inside. Yes, the instance is up and running. So let us now connect to it. And click on connect button. I'll have EC2 is the username, right? So we'll not change the username. Connect. It may take some time to get it connected. So yeah. So I'm into now my Easy to so what we'll do I'll just uh, change the user so sudo yesu so that I'm going to root user now and uh, let me uh, download this uh, CLI packet so I've already copied this commands from uh, Amazon documentation page so let me copy 
I'll also mention this commands in this uh, description of this video. So let us. It got downloaded. Let us unzip it. So for to unzip, copy it. It's a very simple process. So it's getting unzipped now. <coughs> and after that, uh, we will install it. So meanwhile, I'll just copy the text command. So all it depends upon your package size. Uh, if the package is big, it may take some time to get the files unzipped. So sometimes the package is small, so it doesn't take much time to have it unzipped. So for command line interface, like the package is big, so it takes some time to, but, uh, but, but it works very fast. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll install this package. So it got unzipped. So let us install it. So it got installed now. So let me run the this command again. A user local bin and yeah. So as you see that the Amazon CLI package, the latest one, has been installed. So uh, we could see uh, now in our uh, screen as well. So let us try to configure this particular package. So to configure the command is AWS configure. And once you configure it, it asks you for that access key ID and secret key ID so that you can uh, get it uh, from your uh, Amazon console page. So once you uh, into Amazon console page, you click on uh, security credentials the way uh, I'm clicking right away security credentials and you can create a, a new key, new secret key. But make sure that uh, you, you should not uh, share this uh, security key with uh, anyone. So uh, I'll, I'll create a new key and then later on once the demo is done, I'll delete it as well. So let me uh, create a new access key. So now uh, I can have this access key copied. So I'll have the access key ID. I'll go to my instance and have it. And secret access key, I'll again go back have this secret key right default username so what is my default username uh, let me check my default username is for uh, easy to instant that is us east one so let, let me cross check again yeah it is us east one so i'll give my default uh, reason you have to give your reason in which reason you were in rather you have created your ic2 instance so in my case it is and default output format i can have json here right so let us again check whether it got configured or not yeah it has been configured now right fine so as we see uh, key id access key Reason name output all looks good. Let me clear this one and let us now try to use try to execute some commands and let's try to see whether we are able to access this S3 or EC2 services from command line interface or not. So for that the command is AWS S3 LS. So this will give me the list of the buckets. So there are two buckets now uh, as I can see here I can 
it, it gives me a list of two buckets. So let me go back to my console and let me cross check whether how many buckets are there in my uh, uh, say. So uh, let me go back to my S3 services and let us see how many buckets are there. So as you see here, uh, there are two buckets. So these are the two buckets I could see here also. So let us try to create a new bucket. So for that, the command is AWS S3 MB. MB is for make bucket. And you have to give S3 colon. And make sure this bucket name <coughs> has to be a uh, unique. So uh, the bucket name is, has to be un globally unique one. So also it has it should be in uppercase. So I'm just trying to create a, a new bucket. Right. Yeah, so the bucket has been created now. So I will go back to S3 console again and let me refresh this page. So, yeah, as you see that this bucket has been created. So my search in one, two, three, four. The bucket got created now. Now, if you want to remove this bucket, the command is AWS S3 RB and you have to give same S3 colon colon the bucket name. Let me type here S3 colon and the bucket has been removed. So let us refresh and as you see that the bucket got removed, right? Now, if you want to see the uh, number of uh, like how many EC2 instances are up and uh, running, so the command is EC2. Right, so these many uh, for, for that uh, EC2, how many uh, instances are there? So this way you can access this uh, EC2 instances as well. So let us clear. S3 LS. Okay. This way uh, we can uh, access this uh, S3 via command and interface. So uh, you can just just try this out. What I'll do, I'll just uh, copy uh, all these uh, commands in the uh, video description, and uh, you can you can try at your end and uh, let me know in the comment section uh, if you face any issues. Yeah. Thank you.